Hi everybody, it's Guru Bob again and welcome to part three of this sequence of videos on Firefox, recommended browser for this year's 30 day challenge. Yesterday I showed you how to install add-ons um, and using Google Global as the example and today I'm going to be introducing you to several Firefox add-ons that we recommend that you install uh, for use during this year's 30 day challenge. And they are, well of course yesterday we talked about Google Global and I gave a description of how we use that, so that's, uh, that's pretty fine. The next one is a, an add-on called Search Status and um, I'll show you in a minute what's, what Search Status is and how it works, but effectively it will um, give you in this, your status bar of Firefox the page rank and the Alexa ranking of the page that you're currently uh, looking at within Firefox. Also, there's some other useful functionality as well, including the ability to turn on the highlight no follow tag um, status so that you can see um, whether links on certain websites that you might be, might be navigating to have, um, have no follow tag set or not. The next add-on is called SEO for Firefox. Um, and what this add-on does is it, uh, when you turn it on, when you're uh, searching in Google and you've got a, a bunch of search returns that come back for a particular keyword, SEO for Firefox will go and recover and find certain SEO characteristics of those websites and display those in uh, the search engine results pages inside Google. This can be very handy just to establish you know, the relative SEO value of certain websites in terms of its page rank, number of backlinks. Um, nature of those backlinks, age of the domain, sorts of things like that. Very useful plugin. And I'll show you how that works in a minute. Then uh, we recommend that you install the StumbleUpon toolbar. StumbleUpon is a social sort of networking uh, service um, which has both a entertainment value but also an SEO value in the sense that if you get your website uh, into the StumbleUpon network then that can deliver quite a bit of traffic uh, depending on the niche that you're in. Um, and the StumbleUpon toolbar makes it very easy to, um, to add a site into the StumbleUpon network. And the last add-on I want to focus on today is one called Cool Previews. It's an optional add-on. It's more for, um, uh, it's not absolutely necessary for the 30-day challenge, but, uh, but I think it uh, offers some very nice functionality for previewing web pages without actually necessarily having to go and, and uh, refocus your browser onto those pages. So um, that's the basic description. Uh, in the recommended resources uh, area of the training content page where, this, where you would have um, uh, navigated uh, to find this video, there will be links that uh, will make it easy for you to go and, and go to the download pages where those add-ons can be found. Otherwise, as I showed you yesterday, you can um, search for those inside the, uh, the Mozilla Firefox add-ons area. All right, well, let's go and have a look at uh, what these plugins actually look like. So I've navigated to the Vintage Electric Guitar blog, which was the uh, example blog that we set up last year in the 30-day challenge. And I'm going to use this to, um, to preview some of the plugins. Um, the first one is uh, going to be search status. Uh, if I put my mouse on my search bar here, it reveals um, many of the plugins that I've got installed. And you can see this plugin here, which has the queue with the circle around it and the page rank and the Alexa. These are provided by the search status plugin. And you can see that um, this particular page, the Vintage Electric Tower blog, has a page rank, Google page rank of two, and it has an Alexa ranking of 189,000. And it doesn't matter what page I navigate to in the browser, the, uh, the, the page rank and Alexa rank of that, of that page will be revealed by this search status plugin. If I right click on the queue here, a number of other SEO related uh, uh, functions are available to me, including the ability to, to highlight no follow links as I suggested. Um, and the way that uh, that looks is um, if there is a no follow link on a website, it will be red. So you can see here in the sidebar here in these comments, the, um, the name, which is often a link with a blog comment, uh, these are all nofollow links on the Vintage Electric Guitar blog. All the other links on this page are follow links. 
as we've set it that way. So that's search, the search status plugin. The next one is SEO for Firefox. And in order to sort of show how that works, I need to go over he here to Google. Again, I'm going to type in vintage electric guitar. And uh, do a search. And I get my search result listings here. If I turn on the SEO for Firefox um, plugin, which here, if I click it once, it turns it on. If I click it off, it turns it off. If I turn it on and I, do, and I refresh this page, then a whole bunch of links appear below each of the search engine results listings for these, uh, for these websites. And I set up um, the SEO for Firefox plugin to automatically return some of these uh, SEO characteristics here. You can see that it's automatically going and returning the page rank, also the number of backlinks that point to this site. So you can see the Vintage Electric Guitar blog has 1,120 backlinks according to Yahoo to this particular page and the site has a PR2. And that same information is being returned for all of the websites that are in the search engine results pages for this, uh, for this keyword search. So it's a very handy way of um, discovering the SEO characteristics of certain websites. Now for those um, uh, characteristics that, aren't, that I haven't set to be automatically returned, um, I, I just need to click on the, uh, the link um, and it will go and establish that page. Now the Vintage Electric Guitar blog is uh, not quite a year old, which is why that doesn't come back with a number there. Um, but if we look at this site below it in position two, um, that domain was uh, was first found by Google in in uh, oct in October 2000. So that's a nine-year-old domain. Pretty good that we've been able to get our um, less than one-year-old uh, vintage electric guitar blog domain to outrank a site which is um, nine years old. Of course, that's what you'll learn in the in the 30-day challenge how to do that. The next add-on that I want to talk about is the stumble upon toolbar. Um, in my browser I've actually um, I've minimized the, the, the stumble upon toolbar. You can see it, it's up here in the top right hand corner um, because the what, what stumble upon is a service whereby um, it sort of notices your the, the sorts of websites that you're interested in and you click on the uh, stumble uh, icon here and it will basically take you to a page that is uh, that it thinks is um, relevant to the things that you're interested in. But what I'm really interested in in stumble upon is the ability to enter sites into that uh, that that, that um, into the stumble upon network and uh, so it's the I like it button that I'm interested in and if you if I'm go to a page which might be one of my pages um, and I want to enter that into the network, I click on the I like it button and it will um, uh, put that into the stumble upon network and I can add in certain characteristics like tags and descriptions and so forth. So if I wanted to put um, the blog into the stumble upon network, I click on I like it. You can see it, um, it, 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 it didn't offer me a, a, a box here because the, the network, the, the site is already in the StumbleUpon network. I've already done that in the past. If, the, if that site wasn't previously in the network after having clicked I like it, then it would have uh, brought up a, a, a box where I could have added a description and some tags and so forth so that I could register that site in the network. So that's why we're going to use the StumbleUpon toolbar and you'll be using this with your own sites that you generate through the 30-day challenge this year. The last um, plugin I want to to uh, talk about is the Cool Previews plugin. Now this is an optional plugin. I'm only recommending this because I think it really um, does add value from an, a couple of different perspectives with certain things. And what the Cool Previews uh, preview does is it is it allows you to preview a page without actually having to click through to that page. To give you an example, so here we are on the search engine results pages. If I wanted to preview this, my blog, this link here, if I clicked on the link, of course, the browser would refocus itself onto that site. 
but I don't. I might not want to lose focus on this page here, where I've got all my all my search engine returns. So I can preview the page here by putting my mouse over the link, and you can see that next to the mouse, this little icon appears. This looks like a page with a magnifying glass in it, and then that will bring up that page in a little preview window, and I can sort of scan through this page and decide whether I really want to go and have a look at that site. But what's really useful is that I haven't lost focus with the original page from which that link was contained. Um, that page is still there, so I can just quickly look at the preview, decide whether it's of interest to me, and if it is, well, I can click through to that. If it's not, I can just close the window. It will turn the uh, link orange to show me that I've already previewed that, that site, and I can continue looking at, um, at other links that might be on that page. Now, where this, uh, pre this plugin really comes into its own is obviously if you're um, if you've gone to a page where there's a large number of links, like a search engine results page. Another page where there's a large number of links is like in a forum. For instance, the 30-day challenge forum. So here we are looking at sort of new posts over the last sort of 24 hours. Um, and of course, all of these forum uh, thread titles here are links. So I can use the, the cool previews link to go and preview that thread and read you know, the, what, what's on that thread um, and decide whether I actually want to comment or not I don't, uh, or whether it's just information I just want to preview. Uh, but having previewed it, the, the page with, where all the other threads there is still here. I don't need to click back um, to that page, which of course takes time. So it's, it can be, in many situations, a very fast way of previewing a large number of links without actually having to continuously click through to those pages and then click back to get back to the uh, to the to the source page where the link originally was can speed up um, browsing particularly in things like forums um, very very quickly another nice feature with cool previews is with images see I've gone into Google images here and I've done a search on Ed Dale and uh, what I generally get are these thumbnail images but uh, uh, these are the, the sort of small thumbnails so I might want to see what the actual source image looks like if I put my mass over the image, then the full size image gets previewed in the preview window. So I can see whether it's, um, it's you know it's of a quality or something that I want to use or not. Um, similarly, here I get the nice quick preview of the full images. So, but the, again, I haven't lost focus with the original page where all the images were. So it, it makes it be very fast to preview content without actually having to click through. So that's cool previews. Um, I hope that you uh, you see how efficient it might make some of your browsing. It's not a, a required plugin for the 30-day challenge. It is optional, um, but I think it can be, it could be very beneficial. And that's it for this uh, part three of this Firefox video series. Um, in the next video, I will be revealing how you can speed up Firefox a little bit. Um, and uh, make it an even faster sort of browsing experience than it, than it already is at, at default. And then when uh, the, th the new 30-day challenge toolbar will be available, I'll do a video, of the final part five of this series, to showing you where you get that 30-day uh, um, challenge toolbar and install that. But that, that video won't appear until the, the new toolbar becomes available in the 30-day challenge dashboard area. Speak soon.